This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morrison. Today we are checking out, of course, more Wireshark with more expressions and filters. So today is all about expression examples because there's so many in the world. It's a little weird to look within the boundaries of just the little text box and what it will actually accept because you have to have specific text in there for it to understand what expression you're trying to get out of it. So throughout the years, Wireshark has been updated and so has the syntax of the expressions that it will actually accept. So today I'm using Wireshark version 1.12.1 and I'm going to start with just some simple host name and addressing filters. So I ran a Wi-Fi packet capture on my network and it's very long as you can see and I want to find all of the different packets related to a specific source. So today let's say I will just want to use, I'm going to look through here and see what kind of sources we got. I see a lot for 161 and that's 0.59, so we'll do one of those. Okay, so if I wanna look for a specific source, I'll just type in ip.src, and you'll notice down here as well, while I'm typing it in, you'll get a nice drop down of all the different options that you'll have, and each of these means something specific. So I'll just do ip.src, which is IP source, and then I'll type in equals equals, so it has to equal a specific IP address, and I'll do, 96.17.148.161. That looks interesting enough. And when I hit enter, it'll go ahead and apply those settings for that expression in this filter box, and it'll give me all of the different ones that have a source of 96.17.148.161. So this tells Wireshark I'm looking for that source IP that is equal to that 0.161. Now if I do change this over to IP SRC underscore host, and I'll do that real quick, just hit underscore and then add host in there, and you'll notice that it turned green, that means that your expression is correct, and it will run. Gives me pretty much the exact same thing, so it's looking for that specific host. Now if I change it to just IPP.addr, now ADDR means address, so it could be either a source or a destination. So I'll do ADDR, hit enter, and you'll notice this time that I get this .161 as not only a source, but also a destination. Now if you wanted to look for the same IP address as just a destination, you can also do that as well, and that will be DST. And you'll notice here, if I hit an underscore host, I could also do underscore host. So I'll do that. And you'll notice my destinations are now just 161. No other ones are included in here. And there are a ton of them. Now, those are just for IPv4 addressing. Now, if you have an IPv6 network, you can also do those in Wireshark as well. You'll need to change the IP at the beginning to IPv6 for IPv6 addresses, and then you'll need to change the IP address to an IPv6 address that you're looking for. So it'll look something like 2001 colon ABCD colon 0000 colon, and then it'll go on and on with eight different groups, 16 bits each. So you'll probably have like 32 different characters in there. Now if you can packet capture using DNS host names, you can also use that as well. You can just type in ip.host equals equals, so it equals a specific name of a host. And then the host could be like www.hack5.org or whatever it might be, google.com. So now I want you to try a different one. This is gonna be an IP address for the network. So for that, I'll type in, I'll erase the V6 since I'm not on a V6 network, and I'm gonna add in ADR for address. We're gonna switch this to the network, 73.31, except for that, I'll do 1.0 slash 24. Hit enter. Now you may remember this from our, I think it was Nmap episodes where we did the entire network scan. This works the exact same way. When I hit enter, it'll show me whatever is in that range. Now I'll have more after the break about expressions, but we gotta take a break for our sponsor. 
The Hack Shop is Hack 5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. And it can type scripts into a computer crazy fast, like this week's favorite from Skimpniff. And this is a script modified after the one ba made by Koryu Saikun for XP. Now, of course, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order from the Hack Shop for your very own signed Hack Tips stickers. And again, thank you so much for supporting the show. We're back! Now, let's talk a little bit more about IP filtering. Since I'm on an IPv4 network, I can probably do like a hundred other different options, different expressions that I can use within Wireshark. So I should probably mention at this point that there's a really, really good website to go to for an updated reference of all these different options that you have in instead of actually going in and memorizing every single one, because that would take way too long. So if you want to go check out this website, it's over at wireshark.org docs slash D F R E F. So display filter reference. If you go down here, you can click specifically to, if I'm looking for an IP one, I'll go to IP and I'll look for IPv4 since that's what I'm on. Okay. And here's IPv4. So I'll click on that and it'll give me a nice listing of all the different IP filters that I can use within Wireshark that I can add specific variables to. Wow there's a lot of them. So I'm just not going to memorize them all. I'm just going to bookmark that website. Moving on. You can just filter by qualifier protocol. So in this case, you don't necessarily have to have a specific value, a specific IP address. You could just put in something like IP and hit enter and it'll show you all the different IPs or you could use HTTP. It'll show you all the ones that are an HTTP packet or I could do ARP and hit that and we're going to see all the ARP protocols or I could do, let's see, what's another one? Uh, UDP. And here we have all the UDP ones on and on and on. So I could just type in that specific protocol and I'll get a listing of all of those protocols. Now, if I want to search by more than one protocol at the same time, I could do that too. I'll type in UDP and then hit ampersand ampersand. So two ands, and then I'll type in something like HTTP hit enter and I'll get everything within HTTP and UDP. Or if I want either or, I'll type in UDP or HTTP and I'll get either or. So pretty cool. And of course I can add IDs to each of these. So if I wanted to look for a specific HTTP address, I can add the address in there or I could do HTTP and I can do an IP address at the same time. So I could do equals equals 10.73, 31. Uh, let's do that 41. Hit that and you'll get everything for this IP address and HTTP at the same time. Now, I could also add something interesting like a TCP port. So let's do TCP ports have to equal 80. Hit enter and we'll get everything on TCP port 80. So yay, internets protocols. Woohoo, fun. Now, speaking of ports, you can just find a simple TCP port. You don't have to have it include also an IP address. So I could just erase that and look for TCP ports on their own. Or I could also add several other IP destinations if I wanted to. Now, lastly, I can also use an expression like this one, and I'm going to use an IP destination instead. So I can do IP destination does not equal, and I could put in 10.73.31.59 or something like that. And it'll give me anything that does not equal that 10.73.31.59 as the actual destination. So you, as you can see, there is a lot that you can do with just simply IP address filtering. And there's so many more that you can do with just ports or just plain old protocols. Now send me your favorite expressions because I want to know which ones are the best, which ones are the most useful and which ones you've found to be the most popular. Let me know in the comments below or you can email us tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister, sister, sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. <laughs>